Hi everyone, Dr. Anselino Davis here again with a little more science and perspective. So I've been taking all of my lime seeds and basically I put them inside my little greenhouse. And this is the base of a cottage cheese container and the bottom of a soda can, a soda bottle. And I just have them like this. So once I put the soil in there and the seeds there, I just water it a little bit and leave it. When the water evaporates, it goes up to the top of the container and trickles back down. So I paid nothing for, for this greenhouse. And this greenhouse just sits on the windowsill inside my kitchen. Now I'm at an interesting stage where I have too many lime trees. And so what I'm go doing is I'm going through it and I'm picking out the little ones that have just germinated. So this tiny little lime tree. And I am planting it in a mushroom container. Again, I, I didn't pay anything for these containers because I bought it for the mushrooms and it just, after I finished eating the mushrooms, I just happened to have the container, right? So that container was free and it would otherwise be considered trash and most people would throw it away. But now I can pot up my smaller lime trees into this because it's a, it's still a shallow container. So I don't want to have their roots like touching the bottom already. Now, another really free um, plant pot that you can get. And when you have longer roots, you have these, which are, I'm trying to, trying to cover the, the, um, the brand, but, um, these large drink containers from your fast food places, the plastic ones, they last a really long time and you can pot things back and forth inside them. You can also write your labels on the side of them pretty easily. And the same thing, I can just leave this on the counter and it's about the same size for me to um, cover it with my little makeshift greenhouse top. But this allows the... This allows the root to grow all the way down there. And if you water this and you have the greenhouse thing on the top, the water that even if it puddles down here in a, a little bit, it won't drown your roots. So that's why I'm using these like this. And I'm just gonna show you one of the longer roots on these lime trees, these lime treelings that I have. So it's already kind of long. Um, it's about as tall as it is, is about that deep. So I'm planting these out and this plastic thing I'm using, I call it a dibbler so I can dibble in the dirt. Um, but I can push this down and make a little wiggle and it opens up the soil for me to insert the root. And then I can use it to gently push the root down into that hole that I made. And so basically all of my planting tools are recycled and free. And so it does, you don't have to go and pay money for these um, like shovels and pots and all of that stuff. So I'm going to finish potting these up and I hope that inspired you to go and get planting and invest now so that your kids and grandkids will have their own little lime tree and you will have your own limes, your own fresh limes in the next few years. All right, good luck, happy planting. And remember to like, follow and share. You can find me on Psy Perspective on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter. All right. Catch you later.